We're all getting ready to have fun this Halloween weekend and the weather will be good for Halloween, but it's going to be more of the same between now and Halloween. So we've had clouds. We've had a couple winks of sunshine out there today and we've had on and off showers in some spots. Some of you woke up to a rainbow, which it's not always easy to catch them in the morning. So this was a nice catch by Ray. Most of the pictures I saw I saw this morning were in the Hendersonville area. Thank you for sending those in a reminder to see a rainbow. Your back has to be to the sun. It'll always be on the opposite side of the sky. Ray not only caught uh, a rainbow here, but it's actually a double a little bit of a reflection of the primary rainbow up there. So really pretty shot. And of course, what do you need to get rainbows? You need rain and we've had plenty of that. This is a look at the batch that came through in the morning hours today. A little bit of thinning in the clouds. Let some sunshine peek through in some spots, but we've got another layer or another area of showers that are already working their way across the area. Rumble or two of thunder, so a clap or two, but in general, this is showery. It also kind of looks like we'll keep with the Halloween theme, right? It kind of looks like somebody scratched the radar. So we've got these thin streaks, these narrow bands of showers that are moving in. So some are dry, some are soaked. One narrow band across western portions of Davidson County. This stretches south along Interstate 65, so a quick splash there. Showers also dot as you head up towards Interstate 24. I saw one or two rumbles up in Trigg County, but that's it. No severe weather expected. Clouds and rain doing their job to keep things on the cool side as well. 50s, 60s across the area right now. That's exactly what it's going to be tomorrow. And that's exactly what it's going to be on Saturday. This is a repetitive, stagnant pattern from a very slow moving storm system. So on and off showers for the rest of the night tonight. Same thing into the overnight. We'll have some more showers come through. The wind calmed down this afternoon. It'll stay relatively light as this activity moves through as well. It's just stubborn and more of the same. We don't officially dry off until late day Saturday, but thankfully we do dry off late day Saturday, and that means Halloween still looks fantastic. Partly cloudy skies, wind is light, trick or treat temperatures will likely just be dipping into the 50s as the kids get ready to pound the pavement and earn that candy. It'll stay dry for the first couple days of next week with more rain and more cold air knocking on the door by the middle of next week.